welcome you here on the new year. Amen. So, so uh, just remember this is 2016. So if you write a check for 2015, I'll call you back, okay? <laughs> So we kind of got to get used to that new, this, this new time, amen? This morning, I want to talk about dreaming with God. But, but you know, when we dream with God, it's not just a dream. Okay. See, as a believer and as a Christian, we have what we call an expectation and an anticipation. So when the Lord enters our life, we not only dream, but we begin to anticipate and expect the fulfillment of those dreams. So, so I want to read uh, to the next slide, Philippians 3, verse 13. It says, Paul the Apostle says, uh, I could not myself yet to have laid hold, but one thing I do, Forgetting the things which are behind and stretching forward to the things which are before. So I press on towards the goal onto the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Now, I think everybody has a bulletin right now, okay? I want us to just take a few minutes to meditate, okay, on the Lord. And I want you to ask yourself, what is that high calling of God? And I, we'll just, just take a moment. Let's just, let's just, I mean, I know it's different. Just take time and just, let's listen to the Lord. Let's ask Him in our heart, God, what is that high calling that you have for me in Christ Jesus? It says, as the Spirit of the Lord leads you or speaks to you, I want you to write that down on your board. <laughs>
there's no right or wrong answer, okay? So if you've got ears, if you if you've heard from the Lord, I want you to raise up your raise up your uh, bulletin saying I have it here.
For all that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. なぜなら、父から聞いたことを皆、あなた方に知らせたからです。Look at your neighbor and say, I'm a friend of God. 隣の人にですね、私は神の友ですと言ってください。You may want to say, I'm not that good of a friend yet, okay? <laughs> Or you may want to say, I really want to become that friend of God, amen? You see, many Christians, now a friend is different than a servant. Okay? ということは、主を言うとは私は違うわけです。You see, understanding this demands that we see ourselves in a relationship of a family and not of slaves. See, this partnership is played out in every day and everyday living as we become portals or gateways of heaven. Okay? You say portals or gateways of heaven? You see, when we become a believer, we, we release the manifestation of God, the reality of Him, to those around us. We become supernatural people. We become an avenue of revealing God in the earth. See, in 2 Corinthians 6 1, the Apostle Paul called us to co labor with Christ. A lot of us don't see, don't understand this. We, we are partners with him in the work of heaven in this earthly realm. Colossians 3, verses 1 through 3 says that we are seated with him. In Ephesians 2:6, it says we're seated with Christ in the heavenly realms. And what we need to begin to understand when you're seated with Christ, you're set in a place of authority. Now, you don't have to take your seat if you don't want to. Many Christians, you know, fail to enter into this realm or even this understanding. Many of us have a one dimensional perspective of the idea of co laboring with God. Many of us think that we're just these kind of robots, you know, God's in control. Everything I do is in control, right? Is that what you believe? Really? Do you really believe that God is in control of all this mess? Amen? Come on, let me in. Always tell people he is in control as much as I give him control. Amen? And this may be different for you, but I'll tell you what, when you begin to examine scriptures, you begin to see this idea that this everything is just being manipulated by God is nonsense. 
すべ、えー、てを神様がこのコントロールしている、えー、操作しているというふうに信じるのはこれは実は、okay. えー、そうではないんです。You see, a lot of us think that, that the inter interplay between ourselves and God,、uh, in which you know, God comes along and our will is dialed down to zero and His is dialed up to mega 100%, right? Is that, you understand what I'm saying? His, how many of you say, Lord, okay, take away my will and only your will, right? How many of you say that? Right? I'm going to get in your face right now a little bit, okay? Is that okay? Is that right? Think, think about this a minute. Yeah, how? You, when you think about that, you, you say, okay, not my will, God, your will, right? right? Be careful how you take a hold of that. Did, did, see, what, what, what's interesting is there's these two things that are operating, right? Your will. He got married and said, Not my will, but my, my spouse's will. With each other, right? Now, I know it's going to make you turn, just I want you to think about this a minute, okay? Did, did, you, did you look at your wife, guys, and say, Woman, I'm the man of this house, my will, not yours, right? What, did, you, did you do that? Come on. ここは私の家庭だからあなたの思いではなくここに 100% 自分の考えでやっていくからねというふうに言った方いますか If you did that, you'll probably be in my office for counseling pretty soon. もしそれを言った方は、えー、どうぞ私の事務所にカウンセリングを受けに来てください。So maybe you've probably been in the office of counseling for your marriages because of that silly attitude. そのような思いを持っているがゆえに、so, 結婚のカウンセリングを受けに来た人がいるかもしれません。So, what I want to do is begin to see that there's this thing that we have a will and that there's the, the sovereign will of God, and these things literally can operate side by side, and the purposes of God can be sustained and fulfilled, and we, we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So, y'all remember in Genesis the thing、uh, when, when God created man and woman, right? If you haven't read the story, read the story for me, okay? In Genesis 1, it's really an interesting. He said he created male and female, right? And he told them to rule over the earth. Original intent.、Right? This is what I tell all married couples. He didn't tell you to rule over each other. He didn't tell you to rule over each other. If you want to see the condition of man, the fallen condition of man, go further in Genesis and you will see that the fallen condition of man is where the male tries to dominate the life. Okay? That's the same. He says it like this. He says, Your desire will be for your husband, but he will what? Rule over you. Did you realize that? He will rule over you. Okay. Okay. His, your desire will be for your husband, but he will rule over you. Okay? That's Genesis.、Um, well, I was hoping I wouldn't have to go back there and find that one. Okay. <laughs> so, 
So when we see that, probably not going to find it. Where, where's that scripture at in, in man's falls? Is the consequences? Uh, he said, uh, oh, okay, Genesis. Uh, Genesis uh, 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 Okay. You see, the Genesis story tells us a whole different story about the role of man in the earth, okay? The Genesis story tells us a whole different role about man and mankind in the earth, okay? If you read that story, you begin to see that God gives man a lot of room of flexibility. Okay. See, when, when God, God put man in the garden in Genesis 2.15, amen? Come on, somebody help me. The word, the word is Adamai. He put man and woman in the garden, okay? He put them in the garden of Eden and he told them to cultivate it, to work it. You see, he gave man the flexibility to, to maturate the garden by not with him telling him, you know, how to do it, but just told him what to do. Do this. Take care of this. And so when we begin to understand this, we see that, that wow, God really gives man or gave man before the fall a tremendous amount of flexibility. You see, many Christians will see themselves as remote control beings, totally under the direction of God who sits in heaven, you know, working the master control. It's kind of like our kids do with those games, right? But that's exactly opposite of what the Bible reveals to us. Our, our desires, our dreams have a monumental influence on God. As God carries out His plan, our, our dreams and our, our desires become integrated into that. So what happens to us, a lot of Christians don't think of the very present hour of what God wants to do and how he's doing it. They think they're trying to think about what the end of the game is, okay? この私たちはキリストを離れますと私たちの働きというものは未完成のものになってしまいます。
神の技というものも未完成なものになっていきます。Our work is incomplete without him. 私たちの働きも神なしには未完成のものになってしまいます。You see, we cannot be, uh, always begin to understand,、uh, you know, a lot of times I think trying to understand God's creative power until we, be, we understand that He is interested in you, your desires, and your dreams. 神様が私たちの思い、願いに関心を持っていらっしゃるということを私たちが分からないと神様の創造の力というものも私たちが理解できなくなってしまいます私たちがこの地上で影響を持って働くように神様がその計画を持っていらっしゃいます You see, and I think and I guess I'll try to move out of this philosophical and give you more substance here but、uh, the only way I can explain this Is in a dynamic sense as we become actors in the overall scheme okay, of the earth. Okay, as we become actors in it, God literally works with us to bring about His divine outcome. Does that make sense to anybody? Too, too heavy. 神と共に働くものとして行動するものになっていくと神様の御心が私たちを通して、えー、なしていくことができるわけです。Do you see that, saints? We're in this partnership with God. He, he literally wants us to be a part of His divine plan. Okay? Right? And I tell people, you know, not everything is determined. Not everything. I said everything. Not everything is determined. We really can actually influence the outcome of things. Right? You see, with the divine working in us, you know, let me ask you is God creative? He's creative. Everybody agrees with that.、Right? Whose image were you made? So we have this divine image that we're created in. He's made us creative. How many of you know we can create things? And, and, and you know, God is happy to allow us to have this creative mind to develop things and, and, and to, you know, to transform the world. You see, that's, as I begin to, to share with you, that's so important to understand we have this unique relationship with God when we come into the family of God. 私たちは神の家族として加えられますと、神様とそういった特別な関係に入っていくことができるわけです。Without a free will, you know, we become like toy soldiers or dolls, and at best, program toys, okay? Free will. 私たちが自由意志をえー、持っていないとすれば私たちはトイソルジャーやまた人形そういったものの存在のようになってしまいます。You see, with free will, we become literally lovers of God, willing to work with Him. 自由意志があるゆえに私たちは神様を愛して、えー、一緒になって働いていくという、えー、願いを起こすことができるわけです。Uh, a biblical example of this is,、uh, well, let, let me stop for a minute. Let me just think, because I'm going to say this again. How many uh, of you,、um, when you got married, for the married folks,、uh, how, how many of you said to your spouse, you said to him, you looked at him and you said, you know, make me love you? Okay. Right. Uh, 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 あなたを愛することができる助けてくださいと言った人いますか、really you, okay? so, あなたを愛する意識はないんですけど、so, make, make okay? 
あなたを愛することでできるような意思を与えてくださいと言った人いますか Do you think for a moment that it brings glory to God if you have no choice in loving Him? 私たちが神を愛する意思がないとすればそのことは神様に栄光を返すことになるんでしょうか you know, when, when, when we got married, you know, s u d e n said to me, honey, you know, I, I love someone else, so、um, not my will, but yours, okay? Or、right? <laughs> make my will zero or change my will to love you. Is that love, guys? I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. I just want to explain that up a little bit. Who named them? Okay. So, Adam named them, and when he named them, he declared their nature. So, God gave Adam the ability to speak their name and nature into the, to the animal kingdom. Okay? 動物に名前をつけてその動物のこの性質を与えました。So Adam was literally adding his creative,、uh, what we call expression. ですからそこでアダムがこの創造的な、えー、表現をそこで与えたわけです。That's called co-laboring. それが神と共に働くということです。Another example is Moses. でもう一つはモーセがいます。If you were going into the scriptures in the Old Testament about chapter 32 of Exodus, Now there's verses about 7 through 10. I'm not going to read it, okay, because it's too long.、Uh, Exodus 32, verses 7 through 10. Now God is having this dialogue with Moses.、Okay. How many of you have a dialogue with God? So here's Moses talking to God, okay? And God is, is ready to destroy all of Israel, okay? So go there. Israel was、uh, worshiping idols, they, they, they were messing up big time. イスラエル民族は、偶像礼拝をして、多くの,この間違いをすることを犯していたわけです。And so, God is talking with Moses, and God says, You know, I'll tell you what, Moses, I'm going to destroy all of Israel, I'm going to raise up a whole new、uh, family through you. 神がこのイスラエル民族を全て滅ぼして、あなたを通してまた新しい民を起こそうと言ったわけです。So, what did Moses say? モーセはそこで何と言ったんでしょうか Moses goes, Oh, yeah, go ahead, God, I want to be the top dog, right? No, no. No. Moses is in dialogue with God. He says, God, don't do that. Don't do that. Now, let me ask you did God change his mind?、Okay. Amazing. This almost blows our mind.、Okay. But see, when you have a relationship with God in the form of a friend, the whole dynamics change, okay? And, and see, when we begin to see ourselves in this relationship with Him, it changes the dialogue, it changes how we act in circumstances. It changes how we see things and, we, and how we impact the world we live in. Somebody help me with this one, okay? See, he was engaging Moses as a friend. 神はそこでモーセと友人として
in, in a marriage relationship, doesn't there have to be a discourse? I mean, how many of you have a good marriage where all you do is tell your spouse what to do? I know this who does this for me. Hey, come, let's reason together, okay? And I am really glad that she does reason with me. I'm glad she wants to hear my heart. Hello. 
Okay, now this is what I'm saying very closely. That's why the prayer life stinks in the church. That's why prayer life stinks in the church because there's no way there, that we don't talk. We don't share with God. We don't pray. We just, you know, we, we just think, well, he knows what I want. And we don't have this dialogue with God, okay? You see, it is very hard to lay our lives down for others or even for God if there is no exchange. You see, uh, when we become friends, whether with God or with men, we don't lose our humility, nor do we lose our respect for each other. Does that make sense to you, saying? So, you know, we learn through through this that we defer to one another. Amen. We defer to one, each other. You know, in other words, give way to one another. That that means there is an exchange that's going on. Your relation, your relational perspective shifts, and then we take ownership and responsibility for our actions. Okay. A lot of times, people will blame God when they fail to take ownership for their own personal actions. How many of you know how to measure the depth of a relationship with your children? How many of you I'm going to tell you right now, being a father of seven, the ones that talk to me the most, I know I have the deeper relationship. When you have when you have children, you know how how close your bonding when there there is an exchange when you're talking to each other, right, Daniel? And especially when as a father, when you know, when I when I would close my own mouth and just listen. I know like when me and Sue first got married, she would say things to me like, uh, what are you thinking? Okay. Uh, okay. How many how many guys have experienced that or are married in here? Do this, ladies. Ask your husband early in the morning, okay? Not in the evening before you go to bed, okay? Because if you wait till he, you get ready to go to bed, your husband's run out of words, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Most of them, yeah. He may say, uh, right, right, right. The woman's been at home all day and she still has about five times more words than the guy, right? So, yeah. so she's she's wanting to so ladies ask in the morning you'll get more, okay? Drink uh, coffee with your wife. Take some tea, you know. Uh, but but anyway, the point is this saints, we begin to know we have a relationship with somebody when when there's this exchange. 
私たちが神との関係を持つために、えー、私たち自身を開いていきますと私たちが神は私たちと、えー、この語ることができるようになるわけです。This is where love is revealed when dreams and desires generate a dialogue and interaction. それによって私たちが神様との、えー、愛の語り関係、愛の語り合いに入っていくことができるわけです。So, how many of you remember the story of the prodigal son? 皆さん、宝刀息子の話をご存知ですよね。覚えてます you remember that story, right? I sometimes call it the prodigal father, right? I sometimes call it the prodigal father. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now listen. Who, who in that story is really the bad guy? Remember there was the younger son who took all of his inheritance? And he blew it all on the rock. That was not good. But he did that. Right? But then there was this other son that was the older son. Are y'all close with me on this guy? What was the problem with the older son? What? There you go, right? Okay? And so the father looks at him and says, Son, you know, all I have is yours. Here's the problem. The older son was living as a slave in his father's house and not as a son. Okay? The cup was his, he could have had it any time he wanted. And a lot of Christians live out their Christian life as if they're slaves. Now, I'm a slave in the house, I'm, you know, but yet all of this is yours. He said you're seated at the right hand. What, what do you think that means? He said you're seated with, he didn't say below. Alright, I know this is hard. Sometimes it's hard for us to make an adjustment. But when you begin to believe I'm a son, this belongs, or I'm a daughter, this belongs to me, you act differently. You believe differently. You respond differently to, 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 to your father. Amen? My daughters respond different to me, okay? Then they, you know, they, they know that, that dad has some, some fairly deep pockets at times, okay? Right? Right? <laughs> ですはい。
You're not perfect. But and you know how to give good gifts? Wow. You know God's perfect and he knows how to give good things to us. Come on, saints. See, God wants to give us these good things, okay?
このつながっているものに対してそこから願いというものを与えられるからです。I have more to say, okay? Like all preachers, okay? I have more to say, like all preachers. Yeah, more to say. I have a lot to say, okay? But I'm going to bring some closure right now. Okay. 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 What are you communing with? Are you, are you communing with anger? Are you communing with anger? Are you communing with pornography? When you commune with that, what happens to your thinking? It becomes corrupted, right? If you have good friends, what happens? Are we connecting here? What are you communing with? See, when you commune, what you commune with impacts how you're going to act, what you're going to want, what you're going to desire. We need to find commune for you so you'll See, when we say commune, it means to share one's intimate thoughts or feelings with someone or something. Especially, the exchange is usually on a spiritual level. Okay, right here. I'm sorry, that's... It's in your notes, right? Maybe you can't read it. There it is. Right there. Okay. Okay. Blue. Share one's intimate thoughts or feelings with.
But see, what I've had time and time again, I've had somebody say, you know what? I was talking to your son, and he sounds just like you. でですね、他の人々と電話で話しているときに、あなたの子供はこのあこの話し方はあなたとそっくりですねという人がいましたいたんです。
。私に使えることを、えー、喜んでします。私も喜んで私の妻に使いますこれがこの世に来ている間の,この、えー、良いことです。私たちがこの私たちがこの関係があるときにそこにお互いに語り合い合う交換があるわけです。私の妻は良いことを私にしたいと願うわけです。私の妻は私が好きなものをよく知っています。それを私が話をそういった話をするからです。お互いですね、私も妻のことを知っています。ですから皆さんも、父なる神様とこの語り合う必要があります。意味のある、えー、この語り合いという交換がそこにないといけません。You need to speak to him. Okay. 父なる神様に語りかけてください。And you need for him to speak to you. また、えー、父なる神様が皆さんに語ってくださいます。What you want to see is you develop this relationship all of a sudden. この私たちがこの変えようと一生懸命やっていた事柄がこれが自然にできるようになります。
negativo que es. Thank you. 